Hey, what's up guys, it's Nick, back again with a quick iOS update tip that could totally save your day. So forget iOS 19, the next one is going to be iOS 26. And if you want to get iOS 26 beta safely on day one, right after WWDC, here's everything you need to know. After WWDC ends, the iOS 26 beta will start rolling out, usually about an hour later. To install the iOS 26 beta, you'll need an iPhone 11 or newer, including the SE2, and of course all the latest iPhone models. That said, there are rumors that the iPhone XR and XS might still make the cut. Can't believe the XR is still holding on after all these years. But the official reveal isn't here yet, so let's wait and see. And always back up your phone first before installing any beta with iCloud or do a full backup in iTunes or Finder in case you need to downgrade your phone back to iOS 18 and you can restore your old data to it. All right, the install packets might be big, like 7 to 9 gigabytes, mainly because of all the new Apple intelligence features and UI. So to stay safe, free up at least 13 gigabytes so the install doesn't crash halfway through. Also, make sure you're on solid Wi-Fi and your iPhone is over 50% charged or just leave it plugged in. If your phone freezes or crashes during the update, I've got another video showing how to fix it without losing data. Go check that out if needed. Although the beta isn't live yet, but to be ready, you'll want to enroll in Apple's developer program now. Here, I'll be using an iPhone 16 for the demo, but you can do the same steps on your iPhone 11 or any other supported device. Just head over to developer.apple.com. You'll see the WWDC info and all these section. Tap the iOS one. It won't change to iOS 26 until the new beta is out. Then tap download in the top right. You might need to sign in with your Apple ID. Once you're in, you need to confirm some agreement. Then your phone will get access to the beta profile. Now you can go to software update and settings and check if you can see the beta update section. Reopen the settings if needed. Sometimes the beta profile doesn't show up right away. Just give it a moment. If you're running low on space or just want a smoother way to install the beta, you can use a tool like Reboot. It lets you download and install beta firmware directly. Because the usual official tools like iTunes or Finder, they'll only show you the regular public updates. Heads up, first betas are usually super buggy. If this is your main phone, maybe wait for the public data in July instead. Now, you might also notice something called developer mode on that page. It's mostly for app developers to test their apps. I've had a few people ask me about this, so just to be clear, you don't need a full developer account to access the iOS 26 beta. Developer mode just lets developers grant or deny permissions for local apps to run on Apple devices. If you want to turn it on, go to privacy and security, look for developer mode and toggle it on. If you can't find it, the easiest way is to use a tool called iCareFone to enable it. It's free, or you might need Xcode and something else to just to unlock that mode. Also, just so you know, this isn't sponsored or anything. I'll drop the link below so you can check it out directly. Some other features might cost a bit, so totally your call. All right. That's it, now you're all set to grab iOS 26 the moment it drops. If this helped, hit that like button, maybe subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.